Hello, my name is Taegyeom, and I'm an assistant professor at Iowa State University. Uh, today, I will talk about my project, 3D printed type ambassador. This project investigates how the ancient history artifact cylinder seal could be revitalized using 3D printing. First of all, uh, thank you for your interest in this talk. Digital technologies can help designers to enhance the user's physical experience. The 3D printed ambassador is using the same idea as an ordinary ambassador. However, it has a modified mechanical system like a cylinder seal. Unlike today's digital printing, the embossing processes involves a rich, tangible experiences, which is more intuitive, fun, and memorable. As a user turns the roll, the user can fully interact with the device. They can see the process and feel the paper is beaten as they turn the handles. By the way, uh, this it's printing, 감사, which means thanks in Korean. Designer can use a variety of printing techniques to produce visual materials and to solve visual problems. As 3D printing has become more refined, efficient, and accessible, what designers can do with the new printing technology. This research explores one of the alternate design and printing solutions using 3D printing. 3D printing allows text to be printed or materialized in the physical world using various materials. The tangible type amplifies visual and physical interactions. It extends typography to perceptible typography with physical touch, which is one of the human senses. It suggests another linguistic experience beyond spoken, written, and visual languages. We need a bit of time travel before we move on. Uh, as most of you know, this is a clay tablet. It's not exactly using printing technology, but cuneiform was the, the first writing used on clay tablet. It's one of the first non-paper product uh, from about 2300 BC. Now like a clay tablet, which someone needs to write text on the surface by hand, cylinder seal and stem introduced the idea of reproduction in printed form before the invention of wood block printing. For your information, a cylinder seal is a small round cylinder engraved with written character or figurative scenes. According to some sources, cylinders, cylinder seals were invented around 3500 BC in the Near East. It is used to roll on impression onto wet clay. Stamping might be one of the oldest printing techniques and still used in production. It was used to print images and letters on the surface of various materials. Whether, used, whether using ink or not, it enhanced the work by adding interesting textures and depth to the printed material. Without the use of ink, you can print as much as you want if you have wet clay. It might be the high-tech printing method of the time. Even clay could be reused. The clay tablet was then uh, baked until dry and hard, either by leaving it out in the sun or fired to turn it into ceramic. Sun-dried or baked tablet could be recycled. Uh, you can soak it in the water and wet it again, you can reuse it like ordinary clay. The one that survived thousands, thousands of years, which we can see in the museum, were baked in fire. In modern times, we can easily find the idea of stamping from embossing. Embossing is, one of, is the process of printing relief images and text in paper and other materials by providing three-dimensional effect. An embosser is a handheld press, open made with metal. The embosser has been used by government agencies, post offices, and libraries to provide the materials authentication. Traditional embossing need to be, embosser need to be made out of metal and requires special equipment 
and skills to make. Also, it's expensive. I thought maybe I can make my own ambassador at home using 3D printer. 3D printing is an, an exciting digital printing method because it provides various advantages to designers, speedier iterations, single step manufacturing, affordable production, and customization. Uh, these wearable type rings are 3D printed with flexible material. Uh, 3D printing can be an agent to amplify visual and tangible interactions and bridge old and new technologies. I've been expo exploring unconventional materials such as clay and digital method to graphic design to create tangible type, graphics, even designed object. I've been intensively worked with 3D printing and computer aided design. As you can see, this one is the quick brown box. It's one of the possible way to write the sentence in the three dimensional space. I infused 3D pr printing into my practice and have been working with clay extensively. This one is writing love with clay uh, using my DIY ceramic machine. The clay could be an ink. My journey to 3D printed embossers started in 2016. I have a number of 3D printers and wet clay in my office. When I was preparing wet clay for 3D printing, I thought I might be able to print something like the cylinder seal. I was asked to be a part of a book arch exhibition. Uh, I decided to use the idea for the exhibition and I made a prototype. Uh, this one is the very first one. And after printing it, actually I rolled it on wet clay. I really wanted to see how it worked. It works great. Uh, I was not an expert roller, so I should press it evenly and move it. As you can see, the text is legible. So this one is a very first prototy prototype. It's using a zip tie to hold both cylinders together. It was a good idea as zip ties are easy to get and give enough pressure, but it does not have handles and pretty hard to turn. turn both cylinder at the same time. So the next iteration was designing a frame and hand handles for the embossor. I was drafting different designs and end up with this design. Most of the time, uh, the, letter, the letter works as teeth, uh, so they could be aligned. I mean, the both cylinder could be aligned. I was noticed that sometimes it does not stay on the right track because uh, because of that, the diagonal line were added. Eventually, this X shapes were added to make, make them on track. They work as registration mark or even gears. This one is the assembled embosser. I found that the shorter text works better and bigger text prints better. People enjoy the bookmark maker from the exhibition. Uh, there was a stack of paper and anyone can make bookmarks. Then I brought the, uh, I thought about how it could be used in a practical way. This one is my business card maker. I can print it, print my business card on blank paper anytime, anywhere. Once it's working, I started making different versions of embossers, making message, message card. Like, as you can see, there's different messages. Different typeface and size were tested to make card. This is Avenue Heavy, uh, I think it's 85. Sensor font work well when it's used in heavier weight. The material cost is pretty affordable uh, for this embossier as a spool of filament is about $25 for one kilogram approximately 2.2 pound. PLA is biodegradable, biodegradable corn-based plastic, which is widely used in 3D printing. But print, printing time is a problem for mass production as a set of embossers takes about three to four hours of printing without the frame. But with the frame, it would be about six hours. By the way, this is a Cooper Black. It's working great for embossers because of the curvature and thick serif. 
The ambassador has been used for various events, lectures, exhibitions, local festivals, etc. This one is what I made for present my presentation at university at the University of Wisconsin Madison last year. As the amount of the information on on the ambassador and the resolution of my printer, this project gave me a challenge. Uh, as you can see, the text was very, it's not very legible. Finally, it worked after a series of adjustment of print setting and design changes. The smaller text was four millimeter, which is about 16 to 17 point, and most of time 10 millimeter height, uh, 10 millimeter tall, uh, about 40 points works the best. As this new ambassador is portable, affordable, and customizable, it can be used for participatory activities for promotional events and campaign. The ambassador was part of the annual typography exhibition in Chicago called Type Force. It was the 11th exhibition and the exhibition identity was used to design the custom ambassador. For the opening reception, several hundred to a thousand people attend the opening night. Four amb ambassadors were installed with a stack of paper. People were invited to roll paper on their own to print Type Force 11 card or bookmarks. Yes, uh, it's, it's the before the pandemic. After the opening night, when I visited the space again, I found that people like to ex experiment with different papers, whatever they found. I assumed that the paper I prepared was running out. Often they used a different person's business card and even notepad. Technically, you can use any paper. Based on my experience, the thicker, the better. The ambassador was distributed through a conference called Construct 3D. Uh, it is a conference for educators and innovators adapting or exploring 3D printing. A couple of dozen ambassadors was printed and shared with attendees. As many people will use it, I need to resolve the big issue with the X registration mark. It works better. However, when you roll the paper, it could be misaligned like this one. Uh, it can, and then when it's misaligned, it cannot print well, and it ends up with a waste of paper. So the gears was added at the end. Uh, you can see how it works. Uh, personally, I love scrap, uh, scrap papers from printmaking studio uh, as it has cotton in it. It works the best. If the paper is too thin, the embossier bite the paper and it could be ripped. Uh, as you can see, uh, with the X registration mark and gears on the end, end of the cylinder, it really prints well. I showed successful cases. However, it involved a series of trial and error process. Sometimes, sometimes printing does not go well and it's the uh, waste of material and time. Sometimes it broke like this when too much pressure was applied or the bond between layer was not strong. You might ask me why most of the ambassador is printed with yellow color. Uh, I do print in different color, but uh, first of all, I found the yellow filament print really well compared to different color filaments I have. And I'm sure there's different filament works well as well. Also the other reason is I like to make it fun, playable object or even it could look like a toy. I've tried a larger version of the ambassador. I like to keep it small as it's handy and portable. However, technically it can be larger. This is the first prototype of a larger ambassador. Uh, it needs more experiments and I will keep you posted. Before I talk about playfulness, I'd like to show the latest version of the ambassador. This one has a frame and gears on both ends. Although it takes more time to print and assemble, uh, it is tough and reliable compared to the other versions with zip ties, both as pros and cons. 
As you can see, the gears held to cylinders aligned and it's designed to with compatibility in mind. The design share the parts except the cylinders. If it's broken, parts could be easily replaced. I found that children love to play with the ambassador. I showed an ambassador to one of my friends and collaborator's daughter. She falls in love with it. When I left her, she cried because I was taking the ambassador. I feel bad and I want to give her an ambassador. So I sent the other ambassador print happy to my little friend. So I heard that she brought it to the school and print card for her friend and always placed it next to her bed. Yeah, simply she print and spread happiness. How sweet it is. Playful activities are an essen essential aspect of learning and creative act. In critical play, the performance of a game can foster creativity and further produce new art forms, styles, and genre. And furthermore, winning might, me might mean to experience or make something new, beautiful, puzzling, or surprising, or to touch on an artifact or process that helps on experience the artistic process or the mysterious mind. And other things, performance is pure amusement. A designed object presents its own beauty as it is. However, the object could also be playable toy or performative object, which is designed for everyone's own winning, whatever it means to them. I believe an artist can create object that could invite users to the state of flow, which means completely observed in an activity. So my next move will investigate more about the nature of play and designed playable object and toy and typography. I'd like to finish my presentation with this message. The ambassador was uh, exhibited through my solo show in Korea, South Korea over the, over the summer uh, it's written in Korean that says, please stay healthy. I hope you have a happy and healthy holidays. I wish I can let you touch the ambassador and play with it, hopefully next year. Thank you very much. And please contact me if you have any questions.